is now your Storm Shield forecast with NBC 26 Chief Meteorologist Cameron Moreland. Welcome to March. It is the craziest month of the entire year here in Northeast Wisconsin. You name it, we can get it. And as we head through the next week or so, we're going to get some of this and a lot of this. Here's a look at the next seven days. Tomorrow, temperature is actually pretty close to normal. Upper 20s to lower 30s, but then the bottom drops out for Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday. In fact, on Monday, high temperatures will be running almost 30 degrees below normal for this time of year. Right now, we are looking at upper teens to lower 20s across northeast Wisconsin, up into the UP, and it is snowing. Here's a look outside with our live Green Bay Tower Cam. The temperature is 22 degrees. We have light to moderate snow moving through. In the valley, we've got moderate to occasionally heavy snow moving through. The temperature is 19 degrees. So, yeah, March coming in like a lion. We had below normal high temperatures this afternoon, and we're seeing accumulating snow tonight. Storm Shield radar shows a large area of snow covering most of the state. So we've got snow falling from the lakeshore all the way back to the Mississippi River. It is mainly light to moderate, but there are some pockets of heavier snow where some huge flakes are falling from the sky. And with light winds, the snow is accumulating very quickly. The National Weather Service has issued a winter weather advisory for areas north and west of the Fox Valley, but we're all basically seeing the same type of weather. Most of us have picked up an inch or two already and as we start the clock here at 10:30, you can see that most spots will pick up another inch or two or even more as we head through the next five to seven hours. Now, March is a snowy month here in northeast Wisconsin. Typically, we end up with just over eight inches of snow. Last year, we had under that at seven inches. Now, tonight's snowmaker is an area of low pressure pushing across Wisconsin. Behind it, we've got high pressure building in from the north and west. That'll be our main weather maker as we move through tomorrow. We'll see a mixture of clouds and sunshine with highs in the upper 20s to lower 30s. And uh, that's pretty close to where we should be for this time of year. Our normal high today hitting 33 degrees for the first time in almost three months. Now, by the end of March, our normal high is all the way up to 46 degrees. So this is the month that we transition from winter to spring. But this year, Mother Nature's got different ideas. We're actually going in the opposite direction here. We've got a major blast of Arctic air moving in behind a cold front tomorrow night. For Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday, temperatures are going to be running way below normal for this time of year. Your forecast for tonight calls for snow. Most areas will end up with about 2 to 4 inches by tomorrow morning. Temperatures will eventually get down into the mid and upper teens. Tomorrow, a mixture of sun and clouds and warmer with highs in the upper 20s to lower 30s. My 3-degree guarantee for tomorrow is 31. If I can hit that high within 3 degrees, we will donate $100 to the Heart of the Valley Food Pantry. And we did that today. My forecast 25. The actual high temperature was 26 degrees. We'll watch a cold front move through tomorrow night into early Sunday morning with some snow showers. We could see another half an inch to an inch of snow with those snow showers as they make their way through the area on Sunday. Cold, a high of 10, 10 below by Monday morning. Wind chills will be in the 20s and 30s below zero. We'll see a high of 5 Monday afternoon, 10 below Tuesday morning, 10 for a high Tuesday afternoon, and then we will slowly moderate as we wrap up next week. Moderate, but still stay cold. High temperatures will be in the teens and 20s as our next chance of snow approaches by next weekend. And real quickly, just in today, Appleton, recorded its snowiest February on record with just over 29 inches Whoa. of snow. So Green Bay, not quite. Where's yeah. the cake? But Appleton gets yeah. it. <laughs> it's it's going to be an ice cream cake, actually. <laughs> exactly. Nice fun. Thank you, Cameron. Well, UTV drivers are set for a ice race this weekend. Drivers are taking on the different elements for a chance at cash prizes. Saturday's race is about 10 miles outside of Crivets. Racers will face potential jumps with speeds up to 90 miles per hour. Opening ceremonies begin tomorrow afternoon at 1 o'clock. Still ahead here at 10, it's a Native Spirit report and what students find as maple syrup.